So this is a quick teardown video of the Philips Hue light. Um, so I actually had a talk about this at Black Hat and so I have some more photos of the internals. Uh, but I thought it might be interesting to see how do you actually rip these lights apart in case you wanna experiment with your own um, hardware hacking. So this is just what the bulb looks like. Uh, so these are, I think, second generation um, Philips Hue bulbs. Focus there. So these ones are sold in Canada. Um, so the first thing is to get this uh, plastic dome off. Now you can go along and cut in um, in here if you want to try to maintain some level of uh, you know being able to put it back on. But what I'm going to do is I just use a vise here, and I find this works quite well. And it actually doesn't totally destroy it. So you know p potentially you could get it back together if you really want. Just do that. Oh, come on. Oops, so this one's on a little tighter than the other one I tried. Um, come on. There we go. And now, if I hit it with something, that'll do the trick. We have a hammer somewhere here. All right. Um, so here's the inside part of it. And you can see this plastic dome just snaps on top. So if you want, you'd try to push that back out. But I don't need this stuff anyway, so don't really care about it. All right, that's permanently screwed. All right, um, so you can see the, that focus up there. Um, you can see the top part, we have the uh, the antenna, so that's the 802.15.4 antenna, um, which is used by the, the Zigbee uh, protocol. Focus in, there you go. And you can see all the LEDs around it. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove these two screws and then try to pry that plate off. So, just put this back in a vise for now. And all I'm trying to get actually is the main, uh, the main circuit board out of this, so I really don't care about keeping it undamaged. And you'll notice that as I'm uh, going through this thing. One and two. You can see there's two wires there. And we're just going to cut them. Um, and so there's a little, well, you can take the LED plate off first if you want. Um, actually, ooh, this worked better than expected. There's a little top cover uh, that sort of snaps in. So depending how well your particular one goes, it may or may not come out so easily. Uh, once it starts to get a little deformed, it tends to uh, become a lot harder to get off. So what you can see is that this metal here basically connects to metal in the um, device itself. And I think all part, a lot of this is all part of sort of heat dissipation and stuff like that for the, uh, the LEDs. So there's this outer metal uh, rim. So this stuff here, there's like this rubbery potting compound basically. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get uh, get rid of that. Now the easiest thing to do is actually gonna be to pop this end off here. Um, and then we're able to push out the main board uh, and not really have to do too much cutting anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Force it in like that, so you can see I'm just doing more and more, and we can hear something snapping. And we'll go one way and then the other. I may actually want a metal vise here because uh, it's starting to deform this a little bit. So we'll see if this will fit. Mm -hmm. So that we can hold it in. 
nice and securely. There we go. I'm just gonna kind of pull that off. Come on. And we can see it's starting to uh come off there. Let's see if we can focus in. There's a bit of a gap developing. Um and I'm gonna try to align the uh the board here with with this guy so that if I clamp it down I don't crush uh too much on the board when I start to turn it. Alright, so that should be good. And now I'll just give it a twist. And with any luck, there. So we can see it's more or less come free. Um and we can see that the uh yeah, the bottom part of the cap is starting to come off now. And all I have to do is pull that off. Da -da -da. Um, so what we have now is the bulb itself um, with the bottom part all removed there. And so we should be able to push up and pull out so you can see the metals left behind there um, and what we end up with is this nice little plasticky rubber bit here and you just split this apart and your board comes out so on the other side it may take because this side has the uh, the big capacitor and stuff so there's more it's not sort of a nice clean um, back end or clean side like this side was. So it may take a second. So let me screw around with it for a second here. Um, and we can start to see, oops, pull that back. Uh, so there's the main capacitor, which I don't care about because I'm not running this. So I'm gonna break the legs off there. Um, and behind here, this is the main uh, system on a chip, so that's an Atmel Mega RF device. Let's see how close to let me get here. Um, so that's an Atmel Mega RF, a two five six four RF R two device. Um, and on the back side, the only thing of interest to us, so I'm taking this part to do some more hardware hacking. Uh, there's a Spy memory chip here, um, and the rest of it's basically associated for the uh, for doing the actual power management. So you can see on the back side here, uh, we have a bridge rectifier that's coming in direct from the AC. Um, behind this crap here, let's see if it'll pull off or not. Oh, come on. Uh, well, you can see the transformer in there. But there's a bunch of big or capacitors for uh, the other side of the bridge rectifier. You can see one there. So there's four more of those guys. Let's just uh, put this down here, focus you in on it. And we use something sharp to poke at these bits. And I completely do not care about this uh, AC side at all, so I'm just going to ruthlessly poke in there. And if we break some stuff, we do not care. Go so you can start to see the uh, the rest. Oh, so I don't think that was a, I think that was a fuse actually. I pointed out first that first. Um, let's see where are you here. So there you go. Um, so that first red thing I think was probably the input fuse, um, and then in here you can see some of the capacitors. Anyway, but yeah, that's sort of a real quick how I rip apart the uh, the Philips Hue bulb. But I'm primarily interested in the uh, Atmel sock uh, device.